This is the first video I'm going to cross post. I'm going to put this video on Biomed RX TV and on Devin Lockett. I would like the members of both of those channels to uh, become members of the other. And for those who are not members of either to become members of both. This is the first video in our series about neurofeedback therapy. I hope you enjoy it. Neurofeedback therapy, also known as EEG biofeedback, is an electronic method of restoring the brain to its natural balance. The process of neurofeedback is fairly simple. We use electroencephalograph technology to measure your brain waves. At this time, you are either watching a movie or playing a video game. When we detect undesirable brain wave activity, and I'm going to explain what that means later, um, the Activity is discouraged by making the movie blurry or making the screen blurry or taking away from the clarity of uh, what you're looking at. It kind of works on the same principle as if you were reading in, the, in a room and someone were to come in and turn the light on and off, your pupils would dilate and constrict automatically. You don't tell your eyes to adjust to light changes your brain is directly connected to the eyes and that's pretty much the way it happens. Now, when you're in neural feedback, the same principle applies, except what is responding to the changes in the screen in the movie that you're watching are the pyramidal neurons that are directly beneath the locations where the um, EEG electrodes are placed on your scalp. In this way, we can gently encourage the brain to work more efficiently, to conduct the same thoughts and the same mental activity with less energy attached. But I'm getting ahead of myself. These neuroscientific terms are going to have to be introduced a little at a time as we go on. In order to view the full unedited version of this and all of our training videos, you would have to become a patron on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash biomedrxtv. A link will be provided in the description below. Before we get too deeply into neurofeedback, I want to discuss a little bit about my background. Um, those of you who know me know that in addition to being a filmmaker, I also have a background in biomedical engineering. I started off in the United States Air Force years ago um, in uh, biomedical equipment maintenance technology. And I started this company, Biomed RX. Biometrics has provided healthcare technology management services to healthcare providers as well as medical equipment manufacturers in the United States and over 30 countries outside of the United States. And we've been around since 1996. I've been teaching biomedical equipment maintenance in the United States as well as in over 30 countries in the Caribbean and Latin America. I've been teaching in English as well as in Spanish. Now, in the process of doing all of this teaching, I have learned that I have an ability to explain complex technical concepts in simplistic terms in, in various languages. And I'm going to try to do that here with neuroscience. Now, I know that uh, I'm going to be viewed by some neuroscience professionals, and I do appreciate constructive feedback. I am a student. I'm constantly learning myself, and I'm constantly um, honoring the work that's been put before me by the doctors Othmer at the EEG Institute, as well as uh, the uh, college training that I'm finding in neuroscience. Neuroscience is an industry that is constantly growing. We are constantly learning more and more about the brain every day. So um, some of the things that I put in my videos are going to be outdated uh, very quickly, and some of the information is going to be altered or just a little bit um, out of date, I guess you could say, uh, as time goes on. You're going to have to forgive me for that. But once again, if you want to view the full version of these videos, please become a patron on our Patreon page. That is patreon.com forward slash 
B-I-O-M-E-D-R-X-T-V or patreon.com forward slash Devin Lockett. Now, neurofeedback basically means biofeedback for the brain. It is a process of training away dysregulation in the neocortex. Dysregulation occurs whenever we have um, intense emotion or boredom, which is basically ADHD, or um, shock, or trauma, or uh, arguments. The accumulation of this dysregulation in the neocortex, the overaccumulation of this dysregulation, is called PTSD, right? It's manifest in PTSD. This dysregulation tends to manifest itself in certain parts, certain areas of the neocortex um, over and over again in individuals, depending on the lifestyle that those individuals have lived. Most of us experience a lot of emotion uh, in the parietal lobe, uh, in the occipital lobe of the, of the, of the neocortex, and um, a lot of the troops that go overseas and fight and war, uh, they're exposed to combat. They accumulate a lot of dysregulation here in the frontal lobe as a result of um, having spent a long time in a state of hypervigilance, you know, keeping one eye open or always looking over uh, your shoulder, or basically sleeping with one eye open. This takes a, a toll on the brain, okay? We've had a lot of success working with veterans here at the Biometrics Health Center in addressing post-traumatic stress disorder with the therapies that I'm about to discuss. Although neurofeedback does provide um, a feedback loop or a certain way to monitor the brainwave activity, during the treatment, it is not a diagnostic uh, treatment. It is a therapeutic treatment. That's a very important distinction. If you would like to get a snapshot of uh, whatever dysregulatory patterns you may have, you may want to consult with a doctor about getting a PET uh, scan or uh, there are a number of imaging um, uh, a QEEG. There are a number of uh, different type of uh, um, diagnostic tools that you can use. What we're doing here with neurofeedback is therapeutic. I'm going to try to incorporate my biomedical engineering background and see if we can um, make some analogies between uh, medical equipment categories and neurofeedback equipment. It's not similar to laboratory, not similar to radiography equipment. Um, it would be similar to fluoroscopy because we are monitoring what's going on in the brain um, in real time, but uh, it's akin to one part of what we're monitoring during a lie detector test. But what we are using is EEG or electroencephalograph technology. Okay, so let's get clear on some basic terminology. When we talk about training and therapy, brain training versus brain therapy, neurofeedback training versus neurofeedback therapy, uh, we're basically talking about the same thing. We're just talking about the purposes uh, that you're, for which you're doing it, right? If you are um, coming to the Biometrics Health Center, for example, suffering from anxiety, PTSD, autism, ADD, ADHD, uh, and stress, depression, any, any number of conditions that we treat people for, then the therapy that we're going through, the customized protocol that I'm going to put together for you is going to be uh, therapy. It's going to be neurofeedback therapy or it's going to be uh, brain training therapy, brain therapy. If you are coming to me as a peak performer, we have a lot of clients that are coming to improve their golf game or to make them better at being an executive or a better actor or a better film director or a better athlete. We have a lot of athletes that come to us uh, for peak performance. Then that is considered training. OK, we have a unique protocol here at the Biometrics Health Center that you're not going to find anywhere else. Um, 
we incorporate the uh, devices manufactured by Mind Alive Incorporated. I'm going to put the URL here, Mind Alive Incorporated. Um, I, uh, it's www.mindalive.com. I highly recommend you visit Mind Alive and listen to uh, Mr. Dave Seaver, the videos that he has online on his website as well as on uh, YouTube uh, describing the wonderful devices my manufactured by Mind Alive. Here I have in my possession the Mind Alive David Delight Pro, which is a uh, brain training device. Um, I'm going to show you the basic components of it. It involves audiovisual entrainment, AVE, right? And AVE incorporates the use of goggles, as you can see, and headphones. Through the headphones, you will hear isochronic tones and binaural beats, and uh, it, the sounds that are designed to enhance certain brain wave states in the brain, as well as uh, seeing flashes of light in different colors, LED light, okay? Um, that works pretty much like chromotherapy. Uh, different frequencies for the left field of vision as for the right field of vision, which, is, which are designed to train, to entrain the left and right hemispheres of the brain, okay, into certain brain states. The most significant part of the uh, David, I believe, and the other Mind Alive products I believe is the uh, CES or cranial electrotherapy stimulation. With CES, we place these clips on your earlobes, okay? We deliver a very mild calibrated pulse of electricity of changing uh, varying polarity, okay? And this, this pulse stimulates the brain the various parts of the brain to produce your endorphins in perfect balance. Epinephrine, norepinephrine, and most importantly, serotonin. Serotonin has a lot to do with self-esteem. Uh, serotonin is a very, very important uh, endorphin. And um, this device is very, very effective at increasing the, the effectiveness of neural feedback. I would say that the combination of um, CES, AVE, and neural feedback is much greater than the uh, sum of the parts, <laughs> the sum of the their parts, <laughs> the sum of its parts. I don't, I don't really know how to say that, but um, it's very effective to do in combination. That's the most important thing you should you should draw from this. Okay, with neural feedback. We are using the primary uh, instrument we're using is a neural amp. This is an EEG amplifier, an electroencephalograph amplifier. We are using channel one and channel two. It is a two channel amplifier. When we're using single channel amplifier, we're only using this half of the amp <clears throat> plus the ground, and uh, we're only using two probes, okay, and we can do a lot of very effective training with single and uh, uh, double, okay, with both one channel and two channel. So uh, when we're doing two channel, we are usually synchronizing the left and right hemispheres of the brain with each other, which brings me to uh, another subject. Um, with neural feedback, we are, oh, and by the way, of course, you know, the probes are uh, plug into here, okay, the electrodes, right, plug into here, and then on the other end, they're connected to the scalp, okay. We have three different disciplines that we use for neural feedback. One is infralow, where the reward frequency is very, very low, 0 0.01 or 0 0.001 hertz. Okay, and this is very effective at getting rid of dysregulation in the neocortex. It's very effective at addressing um, autism, ADD, ADHD, anxiety, stress, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, addiction, um, and a lot of other conditions. Helping people to stop smoking or lose weight. Um, it is very good for ending, uh, for regulating the dysregulation in the neocortex. We also use alpha-theta neurofeedback. Alpha-theta uses two 
reward frequencies, one being alpha in the 10 hertz zone and the, the other being theta around 7 hertz. While being in the alpha and theta frequency zones at the same time, you are able to take things that are in the subconscious mind, repressed memories, repressed emotions, and bring them into the conscious mind gently. The alpha theta state is the desired state for hypnotherapy. Most hypnotherapists, what they're trying to do is put you into the alpha theta state. But the act of hypnotherapy is a little bit stressful because the hypnotherapist is deliberately overloading the subconscious with, uh, I mean, overloading uh, the conscious mind with message units so that um, the person goes into fight or flight mode and the critical faculty is relaxed, giving the hypnotherapist access to the subconscious mind. With alpha-theta neurofeedback, we don't have to put the uh, client under so much stress. We can access the alpha-theta state very gently by use of neurofeedback therapy, and we can combine alpha-theta neurofeedback with uh, self-hypnosis. We have a huge library, over 3,000, um, titles of self-hypnosis that we use in combination with Alpha Theta to help our clients. And we also have um, synchrony. Synchrony is where we use the entire spectrum of frequencies to train the left and right hemisphere of the brain to work in synchrony with each other. Um, I was illustrating your left and your right (laughs) Um, to work in synchrony with each other. And with synchrony, we can train in the alpha and the theta zone and the beta zone, the high beta, the gamma zone. Most people choose gamma. I choose gamma. And uh, we can train from zero up until 40 and even beyond 40 hertz. So those are the three um, protocols that we use within neurofeedback plus brain training that we use with the Mind Alive devices. I highly recommend visiting www.mindalive.com and www.eeginfo.com and learning a little bit more about the therapies that are produced by both the Othmers at the EEG Institute and uh, by my friend Dave Seaver up in Canada at Mind Alive. One more subject I'd like to touch on before I end this video is the anatomy of the neocortex, the anatomy of the brain, or at least the outer part of the brain. We are dealing with three primary locations. One is the frontal lobe, okay, right here. The frontal lobe is associated mostly with executive control and inhibitory control. The parietal lobe is right here at the top of the back of the head. That area is mostly associated, we train that area um, when we're dealing with uh, emotion, emotions, emotional control, and um, physical tension, emotional and physical tension. And then right here in the back, we have the primary visual cortex and the occipital lobe, okay? The occipital lobe, of course, is uh, in control of your what you see, okay? And it also has to do with a, a little bit of emotional uh, affect as well. We also have the temporal lobe, okay? Temporal lobe also has a lot to do with emotions. And a lot of times we train the temporal lobe, like on the right-hand side especially, uh, T4, P4 is a very good pair, a good location um, for helping to loose, loosen people up emotionally. Uh, we're going to get into this more in future videos, but I just wanted to touch on, on the areas of the brain, um, the basic anatomy of the brain, and the basics of the frequencies that we use to train uh, the brain in neurofeedback therapy and uh, also introduce you to the other aspects of brain training that we are employing, such as the uh, Mind Alive David, um, audiovisual brain entrainment, cranial electrotherapy stimulation, which is extremely important, and uh, hypnotherapy. Uh, We also uh, do a bit of hypnotherapy here, um, belief reformation. We're going to be talking about a lot of this later on in the series. 
But um, thank you. I wanted to thank you for joining me on this video. And please subscribe to our Patreon. Become a patron on our Patreon channel. Um, Patreon.com forward slash BiomedRxTV or Patreon.com forward slash Devin Lockett TV. Uh, and if you are a member, uh, if you are subscribed to Devin Lockett, please now subscribe to Biomed RX TV. And if you are subscribed to Biomed RX TV, please subscribe to Devin Lockett. And if you are not subscribed to either, please subscribe to both. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.